Chapter 1. The Essentials for Babysitting The most difficult questions in the world are answered in this chapter. Though there are quite a number of people that are starting daycares or their own personal babysitting service, the biggest question is always a factor of age. There are many ways in which to define the age at which a person should and can actually babysit. Even though the essentials will be different in every area, it is good to get a foundation for what to look for in all factors. Keep these tips in mind when you are curious to know more about babysitting age requirements and allowances. Age Defining the age of a babysitter can be difficult. There really are a lot of factors that you should consider for this. If you plan on being a babysitter, there are a lot of things that people are going to be looking for in you. One thing that people will look for automatically is your age. That is factor number one, no matter how you look at it. The rules of age are going to be different for every person and every area, but ultimately a parent or guardian will still have the final say which person they will choose to look after their children. Some states have a law set that those as young as 11 years old can babysit. The only thing about this is that these people would only be able to babysit for a few hours at a time, and it can be for no longer than half a day. Some parents or guardians are going to feel differently about the discussion of age. Their whole point of having someone look after their child is to make sure that this person is old enough and has enough experience to handle it. There are some that are going to feel like you may be too young if you are younger than high school age. Sometimes there are laws that will define age, but like I mentioned before, it really does come down to how much a parent or guardian will trust you with their child, regardless of age. These parents and guardians want to be sure that their kids are not being watched by others that, essentially, could be considered kids themselves. It is an understandable requirement, considering the responsibility behind watching over children of all ages. Background Another thing that will be considered when looking for a babysitter will be the background of the babysitter. As stated before, a parent or guardian needs to have that security to be able to entrust someone with their children, especially if they plan on using your services on a regular basis. Parents are going to let their children be around this certain person for long periods of time, sometimes every single day. They need to be sure that they are getting someone who can be responsible and who takes their job seriously as well. So you may be wondering what type of things someone would look for in a babysitter's background. One thing relates to the type of questions that they are going to be asking. Getting references is a major part of the background check. When a person can find out information from helpful references, it will really make the job a lot easier. These references need to be people that can give a professional opinion of the services of the babysitter. While it is sometimes a good idea to use family references, it is probably better to have references that are strictly professional and in no way related family-wise. Once the check on the references has been performed, the parent or guardian will usually make a list of details that they gained through the references. Keep in mind that references alone can make or break a babysitting job, so if you have not considered them before, you may want to get some together. These are especially helpful if you are a young babysitter. While it is unfortunate that age is looked upon so strictly in the babysitting services, you can save that factor with having incredible references on your side to prove your credibility as being a trusted babysitter. Some of the things you will want to keep in mind are that parents and guardians will want to know the children that you have looked after before, and many will ask straight out if there is anything in your background that they should know about. This is when it is time to be completely truthful about your background. If you have looked after only a certain age group of children, be honest about it. Even though you may think this could be a deal-breaker, do not give up on it. You can still prove to anyone that you are capable, so long as you can show them how responsible you really are. Everyone starts somewhere, and you can mention this too. It is important that you make sure to let them know just how much you can be trusted, and that even though you may not have looked after certain age groups of children, you do have the capacity to do so. As for that other question, regarding telling them anything about your background, this is a fairly easy part to do. References 
remember that a babysitter is trying to prove that they have the means to take care of any child at any time with any kind of concerns. So, to put it plainly, a large amount of success in being a future babysitter comes from the success of past jobs. Whether they were actual babysitting jobs or other experiences, you want to make sure that you left a lasting impression on those people so that they will give you good references for future jobs. Younger babysitters will benefit from having good standing with past employers. Not only does this prove that your age is not a problem for dependability, but it also proves that you are the type of person who can act responsibly and provide excellent care to children of any age. Even though you would most likely never hear the kinds of questions that a parent or guardian would ask your previous employers, there are some things that you can expect. These are the very things that you need to make sure each employer you've had can respond positively to. Often they will ask previous employers why exactly they selected you in the first place. A few helpful answers would be that you were trusted, good at handling kids, and punctual. Punctuality Being on time is a major push in the right direction, because some parents or guardians are on a tight time schedule and will need you to prove that you can be there exactly when needed. Your duties performed at your last job are going to be important, too. This will let the parent or guardian know exactly what they can trust you with and see how well you can perform each of those tasks. Usually, this will include the ages of the children you have watched, if you have cooked for them, if you have cleaned while babysitting, getting them ready for bed, waking them up, taking them to appointments, or possibly picking them up or taking them to school. Some may also ask the reasons behind you leaving your past jobs, and there really is no way around this one. You may want to make sure that if you did leave past jobs, it was for legitimate reasons. Some of these reasons could include it just being a temporary job, you moved out of the area, you left for school, you only worked as a summer job, or possibly problems with the employer. I know you may think problems with past employers could affect you badly, but being honest about the problems could save you. Just because a parent or guardian gets a slightly bad reason about your departure from a past babysitting job does not mean that they will automatically scratch you off their list. Sometimes they will give you a chance to explain, and this is where you can give them your honest opinion. Once again, this shows your maturity level, despite if you are a young age. Honesty is a huge policy in watching over any children, and many parents and guardians will greatly appreciate the fact that you are being honest with them, even if past employers did not work out. Now is the time to consider the fact that many parents and guardians are going to consider more extensive background checks. The first thought would be DMV driving records. Some may wonder why this is important, but think about the fact that a babysitter may be picking up kids from school or taking them to school or appointments. They need to feel that they can trust a babysitter to get their kids there on time, safely. Therefore, it is so important to have a clean driving record. No parent is going to want to let their child ride in a vehicle operated by someone who has had several accidents, especially if they were at fault for those accidents. One or two accidents may not be a bad thing if, and only if, you were not at fault. It is understandable that these things happen sometimes, and it is not always the fault of the person that is driving one vehicle. This brings us right back to the question of age. If you are not old enough to have a license, it, unfortunately, could already cancel you off their list. This is not to say that you are too young and would not make a good babysitter, but some people look for those that are able to drive because their kids just need to make it to certain appointments. You should also think about the chance of emergencies coming up. An ambulance is not always the quickest way to get help. Sometimes driving a child to the hospital yourself is the best option. A babysitter would need their license to do so, and it may make a parent or guardian feel safer with someone who can accommodate those needs should they arise. The next background subject they might check would be lawsuits. This, along with your age, goes hand in hand. A maturity level is something that parents and guardians are going to want to be specific about. This means that you are an honest person who is not looking to make some money in the quickest way possible, or the kind of person who would try to find a way to sue them. If there are a lot of lawsuits that are taken out, then there could be major problems. 
Criminal background checks are another thing that could stop any chance of becoming a babysitter as well. There are some things that are going to help a person if their age becomes an issue with their chances of becoming a babysitter. Despite how young a person may be when considering babysitting, they can prove their worth with knowing very important details. Calling 911 is always important, but also the fact that you can remain calm in case of an emergency and be able to get the appropriate people around to help in case of the said emergency. Knowing first aid is what can go along with this. Even if you were young, knowing a lot about first aid is important to showing that you are mature enough to handle situations that may call for first aid. Sometimes taking first aid classes is a good idea. Just like emergencies, knowing what to do in case of an accident is just as important. The main thing will be that you will be seen as someone who can stay calm and get the help that is needed. Just like being too young to babysit, there are some parents and guardians who also think a person is too old to handle babysitting as well. Being too young or too old can go hand in hand when it comes to proving yourself to others. Younger kids are going to have a lot more energy and need watching over from someone who can keep up with them. Think about the fact that children can get into some pretty interesting situations and that sometimes someone with good flexibility or memory may be important. There are several things that can go wrong when you are older and wanting a babysitting position. You should have good eyesight for watching kids or driving them where they need to go. Running behind them also comes up as something you will have to do as well. This is in no way intended to cause offense to those who are older and want to babysit, but you need to think about the fact that it is hard to run after a child if you are in a wheelchair or if you need to use a walking cane. In some ways, those that are older are considered good choices for babysitting. Sometimes, you can find kids are going to respect those that are older and may also listen better than they would if a babysitter was younger. Something that all babysitters will need to remember is that a person is not going to make the initial interviews easy. They will want to make sure that they have taken their time and chosen the right person carefully. In remembering this, just be patient, because it can take some time for them to decide to hire you. You can make sure that you maintain patience right along with them so they can see that you are willing to allow them to do whatever they need to do to see to it that you are the right choice. It may take days or it could take weeks. It all depends on the time frame in which they have to choose a babysitter. Just keep yourself open if possible so you can show them how much you really want the job. If you are interviewing with a family, you need to dress the part. Showing up in nothing more than a t-shirt and some jeans is not bad, but it is not the best way to make a first impression. You can still dress comfortably, but also dress like someone who wants to be taken seriously. Clothes that are too relaxed are going to show your age a little too much. If you dress a little bit more professionally, you can prove that you want to be taken seriously for the babysitting job. It may seem like there are a lot of things to remember when considering age and babysitting, but keeping these in mind is how you are going to make sure you get the babysitting position that you want. Sure, you will have to go through a few steps to get there, but just remember that if you want the job, you must be willing to prove to the parents or guardians that your age does not matter because you have the skills, knowledge, and responsibility that they are looking for. Proving all of these things can help you get on your way to being a babysitter and forming some very strong references for future babysitting services. These references are going to help others see that you are not too young and that you can handle anything that is thrown at you.